Hello and welcome to another update video about gold. I just want to give you a, let's say, short-term gold update um, that will highlight what is going to be important next week or the next couple of weeks or so. Last week we talked about, this week it was, depending on when you watch this video, we talked about this 1-2 setup, okay, that you see there um, after the B-Wave low that was actually formed here around the 26th of June. We had this circle wave one to the upside, uh, circle one, uh, which retraced into the support zone. And then from there, we had another small one, two setup. And we've seen actually over the course of, uh, yeah, the last, well, the end of the week, basically, we've seen a five wave pattern develop. So the bullish expectations for gold, they are unchanged. And we are actually witnessing a possible breakout above this trend line that I mentioned as possible breakout point. And we've seen something similar in silver. So this is possible. Uh, it is possible, therefore, that we are going to see the development of these five waves maybe in the next few days. OK, I mean, a wave four can take a few days, so it might be end of the week or, um, you know, week after next. Um, but let's just, just call it in a couple of weeks or so. The thing is, what we now need to see is a pullback at some point. Um, there's no evidence that a pullback has started. As you know, in, in gold metals, you might know that actually, wave five, wave five sometimes extend. Looks a bit like this fifth wave is extended of the larger third wave. Now, this larger third wave, has it already reached ideal targets? I can already tell you, yes. Let's check the FIPS. Um, it's actually reached the 1.38 extension, even nearly the 1.618 extension. I mean, the 1.38 is normally my first ideal target for a third wave. So we're talking about circle three here, um, definitely higher possible. I mean, the next FIP extension, if it pushes above the Friday high is 2,405. And above that level is the 1.786 extension at 2,413. There's no need to get there. I mean, that third wave is pretty much, um, it, you know, it could be finished. It could be finished. I just don't have the confirmation of a top in place. It just doesn't give me any indication really it's topped, okay? It looks a bit like that, that, you know, that it could, could top in this region, obviously, because it is just long enough, but it's still quite strong. I mean, there's no sign of weakness while I record this video. Depends really what we see in the next few hours and um, over the course of Monday. But if that pullback starts from here, the main support region for this fourth wave is between 2,364 and 2,384, which means if we break below 2,364, I haven't got any five wave move up and it will likely just be a three wave top in an ABC structure with one more low, which would then likely lead to another low below the June low. So we talk about 2,300 or below. Well, that wouldn't be bearish. It would still, you know, keep the door open for overall higher prices in the coming months, but it would be a severe setback. So this is now the first proper breakout pattern that we've seen since we've um, started this correction in April. Okay, so this is interesting. We already have a breakout above the trend line. What it now needs to do is at some point give us a pullback. If that pullback is corrective, we're watching for one more high. Well, where could that one more high go? To be honest, it will depend on where really the third wave tops. If the third wave has topped, I would not be surprised to see that fifth wave get maybe to the 1.236, uh, sorry, 1.786 or even 200% extension levels, 2,413, 2,423, somewhere in that area. Now, bear in mind, fifth waves can extend. So even higher is possible. Um, but let's first see if the fourth wave here can hold support. So after that fifth wave of wave one is then complete, we can watch for a wave two corrective pullback, which will likely again take some time as these wave twos, especially in the metals complex in the metal sector, take quite a bit of time. These corrections always take time. Um, you see that here. I mean, this correction started in April and it was a very complex correction. Yeah, I mean, I've labeled this essentially now as um, as wave four, which bottomed then here in May, okay, but then here in A, B, and that B wave is also a corrective wave, took a long time. Now it could turn into something different, right? As I said, you know, this is all still three waves down, you know, three waves up, but if we get five waves, we have some clarity. And that's exactly what we're watching for. Now we already have some parameters to watch 
And the question is, when can we say that the top is in place? Well, that's going to be a bit difficult, really, um, given that really there isn't a very, very clear microstructure um, in this entire move. So, you know, I'd say I'd say if we get, if we if we get to two thousand three eighty four, there isn't really any. Yeah, there isn't really any other sign, really, because the structure isn't really very satisfying here. So I don't really have clear um, swing lows or anything that I could use. But um, yeah, you have a support zone to watch. You have next upside levels to watch if the price continues to push. That's my update about gold. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you're interested in daily updates about the S&P 500, as well as regular updates about stocks, feel free to check out our stocks and S&P 500 service. You'll find the link in the description. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.